Alrighty then, it is already time for our sixth part of our tutorial on how to make a video game from scratch. And um, as you can see, uh, our worm is uh, slowly awaiting uh, battle. Uh, but our worm is consisting of very simple spheres. And by now you must be wondering, okay, um, is there something we can do about this? Or is there something we can do to make this level look a, li look a little nicer instead of only using spheres and blocks? Well, yes there is. But as said before, um, it's highly recommended to use modeling software outside of Unity because Unity is a game engine, it's not a modeler. So um, if you're wondering what applications are available and you know which ones should I use, um, then uh, what I suggest is go to your browser, type unity3d.com, then click on Unity, next click on Asset Importing and it will show you a whole host of things that Unity can do on importing assets. And if you look at the bottom right here, there's a list, let me zoom in for you, there's a list of programs that play really nice with Unity. Uh, for example, on top it says Maya. Maya is a little expensive, but if you're a student, you can get the student discount. Um, same goes for 3D Studio Max. It's a little expensive also, but you can get the student discount um, if you're a student. However, 3D Studio Max only works on Windows, so on Vista or XP or Windows 7. Um, I'm a big fan of 3D Studio Max, but since I turned to Mac, I'm not using it that much anymore. So instead I use three Cheetah 3D uh, and Cheetah 3D is only a hundred bucks. It's very simple and I use it a lot to just draft up something very easy. Um, then there's Cinema 4D is about a thousand bucks and then Blender is actually free. So if you want to um, make models for free use Blender. It's an open source application that works on, on, on Windows as well as Mac as well as e even Linux I think. And um, it was a little too complicated for me, but you could probably find a couple uh, of tutorials to learn how to do it, and then uh, use your uh, use uh, Blender for for modeling. Now let me show you Cheetah 3D real quick because that's what I have on my machine. That's what I use right now. Um, and I made a simple temple in here and a couple of other things. So uh, it works pretty much very similar to Unity as you as in using Alt to um, to um, turn around your 3D view and you know to stretch things around um, but for this tutorial I'm giving you um, I'm giving you a couple of models for free that you can use uh, just check the link in um, this YouTube video on the subscription and there it says um, it, it gives you a download link to my website you can download it there once you extract the files you will have a folder called free models and in there you will see three files bridge fence and temple and those are uh, FBX files I exported them from Cheetah 3D and I'm going to show you how how um, impossibly simple it is to import them into Unity 3D. So let me get back to Unity real quick and then in my project panel I just right click somewhere and I um, and I say review in Finder. Now if you're on Windows it will probably say review in um, review in uh, uh, Internet Explorer um, but what you need to find is your assets folder and this is where everything of your project is saved. Now if I open up back the free models that I uh, that I supplied and I just drag the free models folder right into the assets folder it will place them right there and you can see them right here. As soon as I switch back to Unity, Unity will notice that there, um, that there are new files in the assets folder and I'll do that right now and it will update. See, do you see that import thing real quick? Well that was the that was all it took to import a couple of models into Unity. Now I can open up, you see the folder free models right here. If I open this up you can see I have the bridge, the fence and the temple right here and Unity made for us a materials folder that holds all the materials in there. Um, now these models don't have any materials so these materials are empty. Um, I didn't make any materials yet. If you are um, a modeling guru and you know how to texture uh, go right ahead and texture them make sure you send them back to me so I can make them available for free on the next YouTube video but um, as you can see if I click the bridge you can see the bridge right here and if I click the temple you can see the temple right here and um, what we can do we can simply grab the temple and then drag it into our scene and as we zoom out we'll see it place the temple right there now let me use my move tool real quick to move this temple around a little bit to uh, where I want it. Uh huh. Perfect. Uh, move it up a little bit. Right there. Okay. Um, now, something, uh, what you need to uh, make sure is um, 
when you import models by default they do not have collision let you sh let me show you what I mean if I run the game um, and with my worm I want to um, go into the middle of this temple right here what will happen is it will fall right through okay that's because by default when you import a model it does not have collision all you need to do is go back to your uh, project panel click the temple and then um, check um, uh, check um, generate colliders this checkbox right here and what that will do is it will create colliders of your material and now um, everything is updated so now when I run my game the worm will actually have collision with the model that I just imported oh sorry I did something wrong here hold on um, I didn't do that with the temple did I generate colliders and then oh I'm sorry you have to hit the apply button I forgot about that just hit the apply button and now it should work just fine let me show you yeah perfect our worm is walking inside of the temple it's a little um, the temple's a little small compared with the worm so uh, I'm just gonna select the temple right here and then used for scale I use um, four instead of two that's a lot better uh, now let me move it around a little bit play the game I really love the ability to quickly play the game when I you know when I want to try something new out that's a lot better that's good for like a simple level of a death match if you're surrounded by uh, whoever is out to kill you alright next um, let's try then do that with the same with the other models there's the bridge model let's generate colliders on that and hit apply and with the fence let's generate colliders and hit apply um, and you can move these into your level um, so for example when I move the fence in here I can move it around let me focus on it real quick but right now it's really small so let me scale it up a little bit there that's a lot better and this way um, I can um, I can make a fence that uh, so that the worm can fall off a certain platform or something like that um, if you want to create multiple fences just right click them right here and hit duplicate then move it around and when you do that a couple times you'll see that the fence is kinda you know it's kinda dull because they're all the same size so what you do is just change the scale to like 2.2 uh, well, hold on, let's only do that for the Y so it only scales up a little bit higher than the other ones. So let's do 2.4. And as you can see, then there's one of them is bigger than the other one. And then if I clone it again or duplicate it again, um, that one is a little smaller. So it gives just a little bit of a variety right here. Um, and it makes your level really nice. Now, um, what I'd like to ask you to do, um, you know, is to uh, make a level with these models that you have maybe, maybe make some of the models of your own and then uh, shoot a little video reply and edit as a reply to this video I would love to see what you guys come up with uh, maybe it gives me some inspiration of what to do in the next videos and um, you know and have some fun if there's anyone out there that is a great modeler or texture I would love to see some uh, some textures on these so that we can continue this uh, this series in a little bit more more colorful way than the grayish thing that would be awesome Alright, so uh, that's so much for level design right now. Uh, next week uh, we'll probably do something like uh, making a bot that shoots at you or, or something other crazy than something other crazy like that. Let me know what you'd like to see in the comments and um, I'll see what we can do. Alright, see you next time and cheers.